Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Mai from Insight Vision Center Optometry. And this video is all about my Bowman gland dysfunction and how to treat it. So if you're watching this video, you probably have dry eyes. You don't feel comfortable. Maybe it's at the end of the day, your eyes be all sandy and gritty. Maybe you have it all day long, the moment you wake up. But regardless of the reasons why, you have dry eyes. Now, what causes the majority of dry eyes? We know that the vast majority of the time, what causes dry eyes is something called meibomian gland dysfunction. So what is meibomian gland dysfunction or MGD? MGD is where the oil glands that supply the tears of your eyes are not very good anymore. They're not producing that smooth oil that's supposed to appear on the tear layer to prevent your tears from evaporating. When that happens, the tears that you make aren't very good, they evaporate very quickly, and then you'll experience dry eyes. You'll experience fluctuating vision throughout the day. So how do you treat my boy with gland dysfunction? You might have seen crazy things on TikTok and things like that, so I wanna talk about what they're doing. Um, so when your meibomian glands are not functioning well, the first step is just drinking more water and sometimes just taking some vitamins. So um, vitamins like omega-3 vitamins. That is a good first step. But there are a few other things that patients do to treat their meibomian glands a little bit higher, a little bit next level. The first is just applying a little bit of heat to the glands itself. The glands line the lower and upper eyelids. And what patients will do is they'll either use a warm compress and they'll just warm up their glands and they'll even just massage their eyelids to kind of squeeze out the oils of the eye. Now, when that's not enough, then patients will come to an office like ours and they'll have an in-office procedure to express those glands. It sounds fancy, but honestly what we're really doing is just applying heat and literally just squeezing those glands out. <laughs> those little meibomian glands, think of them like toothpaste tubes, and all we're doing is just squeezing those glands and getting all the toothpaste out so that they're not clogged anymore, so that the oils flow freely. So what you'll see in offices is that they'll do procedures like Lipiflow, Ilux, Tear Care, where they essentially just apply a lot of heat to the eye at certain temperatures to warm up those glands, and they'll have special devices to essentially just squeeze out those glands like we're squeezing toothpaste out of, of a tube of toothpaste. And that is called uh, essentially um, Lipiflow, Ilux, Tear Care, or some common examples today. Those are usually regularly done on patients who suffer from a bogan gland dysfunction in order to unclog blocking the glands. When the glands are blocked, that leads to the dry eye problem. So by unclogging them, it can go a long way to treating your dry eye. So start from the ground up, drink more water, replenish your oils with omega-3s, and if that doesn't do it, at home remedies, like a quick compress and you massaging your eyelids. And then lastly, if that doesn't do it, then you need certain intense procedures like Lipiflow, Ilux, Tear Care, or something called IPL, uh, Intense Pulsated Light, to try to warm up those glands and try to eliminate the meibomian gland dysfunction that way. Unfortunately, there's no cure to dry eyes. Once you're on these treatments for meibomian gland dysfunction, it is an ongoing process. By the time your eyes are dry, usually it's too late. So it's important to get ahead of the curve and to do these treatments before you start feeling your eyes are dry to help prevent it from happening in the first place. So again, these are all the things we can do to help treat meibomian gland dysfunction. Hope this was helpful and uh, hope you take care of your dry eyes.